Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the Redmi 14C. And the first thing I want to show you is uh, yeah, about the notification chat. You know, the one you can have all the newest message and uh, yeah, some other stuff like the weather and so on. And uh, this notification chat, you know, sometimes if you hold your phone with one hand, is easy to reach, huh? especially with the large display. But what you can do is to just double tap the fingerprint sensor. Uh, on the power button, just double tap it uh, gently, and you have uh, the notification chain. And if you double tap again, it will disappear. Huh? But don't wonder if you don't have it actually, because you have to enable this feature first. For that, just scroll down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go down to the point additional settings, and you will find the point gesture shortcuts. And at the end of it, you will find at the point double tap fingerprint sensor. No? Then you just tap here and choose what you want to have. You can have also the control center, by the way. Um, so if you double tap here, the fingerprint sensor, you have the complete control center. But uh, I'm more the fan of the notification shade. So I recommend this one to you. And yeah. Let's go a bit further, because if you use your phone with one hand, uh, you can't reach really well as well the top of the screen. Huh? Maybe there are some apps you want to use, it's not possible, but then you just slide from the inside here at the navigation bar to the outside and the screen gets lower. Huh? One more time, just swipe from the inside to the outside anyhow in which direction and the upper screen will come down a pretty nice mode as well. But even this mode you have to enable first by just scrolling down here, tap you on the symbol for the settings. And then you need to go to additional settings again. Here it is. And you will find the point one-handed mode. And this one you need to enable, now, like in my case here, so that it's marked blue. And then whenever you swipe now from the inside to the outside here at the navigation bar, then the top of the screen will coming down. The next thing I want to show you is for the camera, because did you know that you don't use the full 50 megapixels of the camera, you only use 12 megapixels. If you want to have the fullest resolution, then just tap here on the camera and don't go here on photo, go to the most wide one, then you are on the 50 MP cam, huh? and then you have the fullest resolution. But it has some disadvantages, uh, one of it is you can at maximum zoom in for two times. Huh? Uh, anyhow, if it's with a finger or if you tap just here. Uh, uh, and the other one is uh, you have to hold your hand pretty steady if you're taking pictures. And one more thing is the light conditions should be fine as well. Uh, and it takes more storage. Uh, so usually the um, 12 MPs are okay for pictures and the phone is taking nice pictures uh, for that price. Um, yeah, but. If you're in the case, if, if you need the fullest uh, 50 MPs and you have good conditions and so on, then choose here the 50 MP cam. Something else. If you want to shoot pictures uh, made with your front cam, then you can add some other stuff, like that you don't have to um, tap here the shutter button. Huh? Uh, you can use also your voice or your palm. Let me show you how. Um, if you tap here on the arrow, you have here the option um, shutter type and uh, you can choose if, you, if it's just okay if you tap the screen or here shut as a, the, the voice shutter and like in my case already here marked yellow the palm shutter. Let me show you a bit more about. So if I say now um, cheese the phone is taking a picture. Huh? Cheese! Nice, huh? And this also was the voice shutter, and the other one is the palm shutter. For that, you just lift up your hand, then you will see here a countdown. You can smile, and then. This is very uh, interesting if you want to um, uh, take pictures if you're in a group, huh? then you don't have a hand free because you have to. Uh, um, straighten your, your arm too uh, far, you know what I mean, and then uh, you can use just gestures like the palm. Nice.
The next feature I want to show you is if you are going to an area where are earthquakes common. The next feature I want to show you is uh, if you travel to a the next feature I want to show you is uh, the next feature I want to show you is uh, for areas where you can face earthquakes. Uh, if you are in these areas, um, there is a warner here at this phone. The next feature I want to show you is uh, for areas where you can face earthquakes. The next feature I want to show you is uh, for area. The next feature I want to show you is uh, for areas where you can face earthquakes. Um, the phone could give you a one and uh, it's already uh, in the default settings, but I want to show you it that, you, that you're not surprised if you're having it and that you can check it maybe before, because if it appears, then you know exactly what to do. Okay, let's start. For that, just scroll down here. Tap you on the sim before the settings. Then you need to go to the point uh -huh. safety and emergency and here we have the earthquake alerts okay it's enabled now uh, please leave it enabled and uh, if you scroll down a bit you will find almost at the end here um, a demo and i recommend to you to see a demo because if you receive that message that alert you don't know really what to do but if you have seen it before as i've said you know what to do in these moments Okay, so just play the demo here, so tap on see a demo, and uh, then you see this message is already, and what, and what to do. Uh, um, a pretty nice mode, and I hope that you never really need it, but in case if you need it, you know what to do then. The next feature I want to show you is uh, not so dangerous, you can take pictures here of your screen, so a screenshot. For that you will have several ways for, the first one is with the button, so you need the power button and the button down button, just press them for the same time and you're having a picture of your screen, directly after appears here a preview from it. Uh, one more time, the power button and the button down button just for short together and you're having here a screenshot. If you tap on the preview, you have also had a chance later with the pen uh, to edit a screenshot, maybe if you want to draw something inside and so on, or what is nice also is to crop here a part. No? then you can do it with the corners here. It is very nice if you want to capture maybe a picture from a website or something like this. No? After, just tap here on the checkbox if you're ready and tap here on save and it will be part of your gallery. There's another pretty nice way to have a screenshot. Um, I really like this one. It's with three fingers. If you just swipe them down the screen, you're having a screenshot as well. Pretty cool, no? So take three fingers, swipe them across the screen and you're having a screenshot as well. And if you want, you can also record your screen actions. Uh, maybe if you want to make a tutorial for your friends or if you want to play a game and record it to put it online, it is possible. Let me show you how. For that, just scroll down here, scroll down a second time, and then you will have here some more icons and one of it is here the screen recorder. Just tap on it and then you will have this little toolbar here. It is movable to any position, put it somewhere where it doesn't disturb. If you want to start the recording, just tap the red button and then the recording has started. Now the tool becomes almost invisible. If you want to have it back, just tap it once. And if you want to stop the video, tap again, you know, like this and that. Okay, um, the folder here next to is to um, go to the folder where all your screen recordings are. Uh, and uh, this symbol here also is pretty important. I would recommend it to do it first. It's the symbol for the settings of the screen recordings uh, because you can set up the resolution and the video quality because um, it's if the video quality is on the fullest one as well with the resolution um, as well with the frame rate here for the quality of the whole video uh, it is taking a lot of storage uh, but if you just want to make a simple tutorial for your friends you don't need the fullest uh, video quality and so on uh, so just um, yeah check it out a bit uh, to save storage uh, the sound source is also pretty important. No? Actually, we have only the system sound, but if you want to say something next to, maybe in a tutorial, choose also the microphone. No? It's uh, important. And also, if you want to make a tutorial here, the last two um, things are important here. Show touches and gestures and show button taps, because no one really knows 
uh, where you have touched the screen, which buttons you have pressed during the video, and this, these both points makes it visible. Yeah, pretty nice. Huh? Okay, but where are your screen recordings after? Huh? Also, by the way, if you want to remove the toolbar here, no, just tap the X and the toolbar will re be removed, but you can have them always back at the shortcuts. Huh? And where are your screenshots after and screen recordings? Of course, here at the gallery. And uh, yeah, here the photos. You see the screenshots, no? but I recommend to you always to go to the albums because you have an old folder for your screenshots and your screen recordings. Now here are all your screen recordings and all your screenshots. Well, pretty nice. The next feature I want to show you is uh, to save energy because usually you don't need the full power of the phone. Now what is in maybe 95% uh, of the time the case. Uh, let me show you a bit more about how you can save energy first. So just scroll down here, scroll on a second time, then you have here the battery saver. If you turn it on, then uh, some um, stuff, some background activities are turned off um, and uh, CPU speed is a bit limited and so on. And this uh, is saving energy. No? Usually you don't need that. No? Only if you're playing a lot of uh, games which one requires no? the fullest CPU power. But I think it's not really the case. No? Okay, but if you don't need, uh, use it, then use the battery safer, no? save energy. Let me show you a bit more about. Let's tap here on the symbol for the settings on top. Then join the point battery. Uh, look for the point battery here. And uh, yeah, first of all, you have nice statistics here. No? How long is the phone active? And what about the uh, estimated time until the phone will turn off if you don't charge it? No? Actually, we have here the current mode, the battery safer. Huh? You can turn it also back to the um, to the balanced one, the balance is the, is the normal one, and you can see uh, with the balanced one. No? So with the normal mode, you will have it. Uh, you can have the battery with uh, forty-two percent, eleven hours. And in my case, no? and if I go here with the battery safer, I'm having. No? If I'm going here with the battery safer, then I'm having fourteen hours. No? So it could save, um, yeah, a bit uh, or so energy. But if you want to squeeze out the maximum of the battery, then I recommend to you another mode. Just tap here again and go on the ultra battery safer. Because now, if I turn it on, I am having not only 11 hours or 14 hours, I have 36 hours remaining. Yeah? As you can see here, it turns off so many activities in the background and so on. It limits uh, more the CPU speed. It um, reduces the light here for the screen um, and it redu and reduces also the timeout to, to the screen timeout. Huh? Um, let me turn it on again. Uh, and yeah, my opinion already. And yeah, also the apps are limited. No? Here, you can add also apps here if you tap on the plus symbol and then you can choose from some apps like YouTube and so on. Uh, so, and you can. Uh, add some more apps. No? So just the basic apps are available. You can even have some games here on this ultra battery saving mode. And yeah, and this thing could really save your life one day because you extend the battery time more than three times. Huh? Crazy, huh? And if you're having the chance again to charge your phone, just tap your on exit. Hmm? Tap your on exit and you're back to the regular mode. Uh, nothing is deleted in the background or something like this. No? So this, this is just another interface which one saves a lot of uh, energy. Uh, nothing will be deleted. You can just continue normally on your regular desktop. Pretty nice. The next feature I want to show you is for the camera again. And it's an AI feature, a virtual assistant, which one recognizes things. Let me go here on the camera and here on top you will see um, a square with a point in it. Um, it's Google Lens. Let's go there and you can do so many things with May if you want to recognize things like a paper clip here. You don't know what it is and you want to find it out. Just take a picture of it and the phone will tell you what it is. It's a paper clip. But additional to that, it gives you opportunities to buy it directly. Let's go a bit further. I'm having here a coin, a Polish coin. Um, even that, if I have no idea what it is or from where it is, I picture it. And even if the light conditions are not that good, no? the phone is recognizing the 
to Slottycoin. Amazing, huh? And uh, it works as well for buildings, for animals, for flowers. You know, just hold your phone on it and the phone will tell you more about it. And uh, you can go also a bit further. Let me take here a German book. So, and uh, go here on translate. Um, and now you can hover your phone over the text and it auto detects the language and translate it directly in English. Uh, if you want, you can take also a picture of it and then you can uh, really work on it and so on. You can even listen on it. On Sundays in the summer, the band walked into the pavilion and played waltz. Pretty awesome. Huh? You can use it uh, for your studies. You can use it for your holidays. Maybe you're in a restaurant. No? You can't read the card of the menu. Huh? Um, then just hold your phone over it and you can read it. Uh, it supports uh, so many languages and um, yeah, a pretty, pretty awesome tool. Okay, we're almost at the end of the video and I want to show you as well something here for the camera. Um, it's a QR code scanner. So if you're having QR codes like uh, so often meanwhile in our lives, uh, so just uh, scroll down here, scroll down a second time, then you have much more icons as we have learned. And by the way, we are having also a second page. Right? And here we will find the point scanner. This is a QR code scanner. Um, yeah, first of all, you have to agree huh? some stuff. Yeah, we're using the app. No? So just agree everything. And then uh, now hover your phone over the uh, QR code and I want to tell you with my QR code here, thanks for watching Phones and More. Thank you so, so much for all your support and that you have watched the video here until the end. It's a big pleasure for me. And uh, yeah, I hope I could help you here with this video and show you some nice tips and tricks here for your phone. And maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me something up that would be very helpful for my videos. Thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. You can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support again. And yeah, maybe until next time. <laughs> Ciao.